This is John Bentley with the Clear Lake and Galveston County Tea Parties. I'm here at the uh, Texas State Republican Convention in Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm visiting with Apostle Claver of Raging Elephants Radio. I'll pray for him. Yep, absolutely pray for all of us. Apostle, we're really glad that you've taken the time to be with us here for a moment. Uh, uh, I can't tell my good friends like the Bentleys, no. I can't tell my good friends like the Clear Lake Tea Party. Can't re I, I essentially cannot refuse them anything. Uh, besides, I value my life, and I don't want to be on the wrong side of your wife. <laughs> I understand that. That makes two of us. And bud. she may be the smartest one of all of us because she ain't here. That's right. She's not here. Hey, hey, Je hey, 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 Jerry. How you doing? <laughs> we are. Uh, your husband is harassing me. That's right. That's right. Like I say, we're here at the at the state convention, and this is your first time at the convention as a as a radio station. Is that yeah, correct? as 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 a media outlet, this is the first time that we've come to the convention. We're very excited about what we're doing. Everybody can see that we're broadcasting live from the convention. Um, 21st century technology is wonderful for us to do this these days. Come on, John, you remember back in the days if, if a radio station wanted to broadcast remotely, take a whole big van and, and you know, antennas and dishes and all of that? I know, that's right. Tell me, what is the goal or what is your purpose? What are you trying to accomplish here this week? We just want to, we just, we want to bring openness to the grassroots, to the Saints and the Patriots. That's all we want to do, man. We, 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 want a, we want a conversation that brings about unity. We want vibrant debate that brings about progress, that gives us more direction, that, that, that gives us fodder for our imagination, that edifies us. In any strong political or social movement that we study throughout human history, a vital component that I think that we've been missing here in Texas and maybe even perhaps the entire grassroots movement in the nation is a strong communications vehicle. Outstanding. Outstanding. And that's what we want to do at Raging Elephants Radio. We want to be a unifying voice for all the folks here in Texas. Yeah. And you've been, how long, when did you get here? Yesterday or today? No, I got here this morning. You got here this morning. Yeah. And you're going to be here through Saturday. Through Saturday. Yeah. Broadcasting and, live. Uh, it appears that uh, your uh, set up here, your booth and everything is drawing a lot of attention. I think that's a good thing. A lot Thanks. of people are, are being introduced yeah. to you and to your program. It's basically open mic. It's open mic for the whole convention. Anybody we're seeing will like come up and grab a mic. Yeah. I notice right now you have Miss T's, Heidi T's. Mighty Heidi. Mighty Heidi is running the radio program right now. She's running the show. She is a uh, very strong conservative woman. That's why I asked her to be a part of my she's team. She's a member of our group and we're very proud of her. Tell me this, uh, one of the big things about that's on everybody's lips at this convention is the Texas solution. I know there's a lot of folks for it, a lot of folks against it. There's some people are for far parts and some are against parts. What is your just a blanket thought about the Texas solution that you might share with us? If I could share a a pithy thought with the Saints and Patriots, it would be whenever you hear Texas solution you equate it to amnesty. Texas solution equals amnesty. Texas solution equals amnesty. Now, our friend T.J. Scott, who's on the platform committee out of Travis County, put what I thought was an excellent alternative to Texas solution. Very aggressive on law enforcement. Very aggressive on, on border security. And understanding about work visas, understanding about there may be a time or certain occupations that maybe we Americans or Texans, we don't want to do, and we may need those guest worker visas. But the approach that TJ and what they're putting out there versus what the Texas solution is, unlimited work visas and driver's licenses for illegal immigrants, and it all boils down to this, John, and it all boils down to this, Texans. When it comes to immigration policy, when it comes to border security and our state sovereignty, the slogan and the motto, the battle cry should be, Texas jobs for Texas citizens first. This is what every liberty-minded, rebellious patriot should be saying. This is what should be coming out of your mouth. Texas jobs for Texas citizens first. Now, you notice I didn't say Texas jobs for white Texans. I didn't say black Texans, Hispanic or Asian. I said jobs for Texans first. Now, if it gets to the point that we have full employment in all demographic categories, especially with our youth and our youth of color, 
with dropout rates of 50 percent and skyrocketing incarceration rates. They need jobs, not foreign nationals. If we get to full employment in all demographic categories, let's have a conversation about guest worker programs. I know that uh, I've received some information in the last few days that the listeners or the number of listeners and the audience to your program and to your station have really grown. It's is just blowing up. Explosive. What do you uh, credit that to? Well, I mean, honestly, there have been some internal things that we've done with our marketing and advertising that made, um, that made it more effective to draw people to the station, to the website, RagingElephantsRadio.com. But once they get to the station, to the website, to the station, they have to like what they hear. Yeah. Now, I'm glad that you mentioned your website. I know that you can go to your website, and from there you can tune in the radio station. You can listen to past programs and this, that, and the other. That's right. What is your website? RagingElephantsRadio.com. Thank you very much, Thank Russell you, Claver. We appreciate God your time, you. sir. God bless you. Okay. And be well. Everybody down there at CLTP. And I've said it on the radio, and I'm saying it right now in front of the camera. One of the most effective, dedicated, diligent, vigilant organizations when it comes to Tea Party in Texas is Clear Lake Tea Party. You got these groups across the state, some of them want to be book clubs, all right? I don't know what they want, they want to be social clubs. Not Clear Lake Tea Party. And anybody who is a supporter of Clear Lake Tea Party, Regardless if you agree with them 100% or not, you have to admire them. Please continue to support them because they are dedicated and their hearts and heads are in the right place. They want life, they want liberty, and they want opportunities of prosperity for all Texans. I am proud to call myself a friend of CL CLTP, and I am proud of the fact that they call on me to help them from time to time. And uh, I, may, I may have been a little jocular at the very beginning, but I'm being very serious. It is difficult to tell the Clear Lake Tea Party no on anything, because I know them. They're good people. And if you're a supporter of Clear Lake Tea Party, don't stop. And find others in the Southeast Texas, Galveston County area, to support the Clear Lake Tea Party. They're good people, and they're patriots, and they're Texans. Thank you for your time, sir. Have a good day, and hope you enjoy the, con the convention. I will. I think we have a good time.